Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our live broadcast of WR Chess. This will be our final broadcast because you, Vincent, have won the last game of the day. And I just want to say, it's been a while <laughs> wait, wait, waiting for me to welcome you to yeah. the studio so you could tell us what happened. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. He played this knight bd7 move in the opening, and uh, since he didn't play it quickly, I wasn't. I didn't believe it was preparation, and suddenly it felt weird because I have this queen b3 option, and obviously, I mean, okay, I take bishop on b4 and the pawn on d5, taking on c3 can't be good. So, no. and bishop d6, I didn't believe it was enough, but yeah, and what he got in the game, I think, was also very dangerous for me. So I'm not really sure what was going on, but yeah, it takes. But definitely, did you feel like? He had prepared knight c5 or not something. Really. No, no he but, just got but I think knight f6 is not really an option, yeah, because first of all, I can go queen g5 maybe. You mean here? Be he After in the game he played knight c5, yeah, but, but in the let's say he goes knight f6. Yes, and then okay, I wanted to go to f3 actually, but uh, here yes, takes king h1. Yes. Okay, I guess he goes back and e4, yeah, because mm. I can play and I don't believe this is too good for black, but probably it's also not quite bad, but. Well, I just thought that knight f6, I also have queen f3. I mean, it looks a bit weird with the queen there, but I didn't really see what he can do. Like something like bishop g4? Yeah, bishop you're g4, taking g4 the I just pawn? take the pawn <laughs> and, and then, <laughs> yeah, just I mean, like rook b8, queen c6. Right, and... I mean, I just need one move, knight g3 or something, and I'm totally consolidated, yeah? It's like either he mates me or it's very bad, and I didn't see the mate, so... Mm -hmm. I was... Yeah, knight c5 is a good move. Of course I can play queen c4. Right. He can't play bishop b6 because of bishop h7. Okay. And he can't play queen h4 because of g3, so I think he would Takes. have to take. But yeah, now he goes queen h4, and okay, as a pair of bishops, bit of initiative, I thought this might be just fine for black. Yeah, it didn't feel like, okay, maybe it's a small something for me, but they didn't really believe it. Okay. So for me, as I was still believing that like the position should be at least a little bit better for me, I took on h7. I see. Went for this line. And yeah, of course, rook e5. Right. Queen f3 is only move, rook c5. And yeah, the problem was that from afar I wanted to play e4, which would have been a very, very bad idea because he can just take queen h4 and rook h5. Yeah, it's weird because suddenly Splat. I have to give the queen and it's just not normal that here you can take on h2 because it doesn't look like the pieces are really attacking. But yeah, because the bishop is defending h3, so I can't put the queen. And it then it's black. I could have put h3, but I think then something like rook f5, it's like... I wanted to be coordinated here, yeah? Yes. So that's why I played uh, g3. g3. I mean, of course, if I get e4, bishop f4, I'm winning, yeah? So he has to be like... Simple. But of course, he also was fast. Bishop d7, yeah, was good move, I think. I'm not sure about e4, but I also don't see what else to do because... Yeah, and then queen h4, obviously, he has to stop bishop f4. Right. And... Okay, let's say here, you know, also I, I have to calculate this stuff. Um, queen e3? Yes, yeah, this is where I we, think we, this is we, we went down this rabbit hole many times, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah, but I think here it's just never mate. Never like, mate. I didn't see a mate. Okay. But yeah, rook b5 was very annoying for me. Really? Uh, I think that, okay, I have this idea of playing bishop b4. Right. Maybe not right now, because then bishop g4, rook h5 is with tempo, but... Let's say he does need to make some kind of a move, and this rook is, I would say, either very strong or quite an issue because it's attackable. And rook b5 more or less forces me to play bishop c3, and then always this rook g5 is because you know, ideal case would be like I get h3 and rook e1 now, and like okay, and I, I think then he would have to take on g3 at some point and defend the, the opposite color bishop. Uh, bishop. Yeah, it's maybe not too bad, but yeah, still I would be better than. But yeah, he goes rook e8, and yeah, here I'm. Um, not sure because I was a little bit surprised by your decision. I was thinking that you were going to put your rook on f1 uh, into the game so that you would always have yes. knight f1. It had ideas. some idea I can maybe show. Sure. Because your h3 also it was a move, but I think he can take. Okay. e5. Okay. And now bishop c5 is important. Because I think just bishop g4, queen f4 is. Yeah, he's Nasty pinned. Pin. Yeah. But. Uh, no h3 yeah takes e5 and just bishop c5 and then you know the pin is too bad i probably just lose so no the point is that here i mean first of all this pawn is also hanging yeah, in the game he went to but here i think he can't take because i have f4 right and this of course only works to rook on f1 yeah i mean if he takes i take on e8 and i go queen e4 the double, and attack. double attack yeah yeah 
So this is why I left the rook on f1. But probably it wasn't too good of an idea. I have this queen e3 move here. Probably I should have played that, but it was very hard for me to assess this position. Like, just if we takes queen. everything, because... Like, this bishop is incredibly strong. Yes. Okay, queen d4, rook e1. I think uh, queen b2, knight f5 is... Okay, I'm not sure it's bad, but it's dangerous. I saw that he has bishop d7, knight e7, king f8. Probably it's just good for black. But here it's also very risky. Even if he just goes <coughs> g6, yeah, like my pieces are not very well coordinated and I have no real play. So I thought that this can basically only be better for black. black. And then I saw this. Yeah, but this is the issue, yeah, because it's very move per move that the knight bishops have. And now I, like, I would need to play something like queen d4 or knight e4. But yeah, for example, knight e4 also here was a move. So let's say, I mean, rook h5, h3, I think it's good for me, but he has queen g4. I have queen g3, because bishop e4, there's rook e4. Mm -hmm. Now he will go rook g6, because knight c5, there's queen f5. Mm -hmm. And, okay, I would have to take and go knight g3, but I... I mean, <laughs> maybe it's not bad, but... Uh, okay, bishop b5, yeah, probably it is. <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, it... Kind of a dance of the... Continues, but yeah, I mean, I can only be worse, yeah, yeah? Like yeah. But probably I would survive, but still, that's not the mm. point, yeah? That's not the idea. Uh, so, yeah... At at, at this moment, objectively speaking, in your mind, you know, you had been a pawn up and you yeah. had hoped to be pressing. But at this moment, were you still feeling that you have played your advantage well? Or did no, you get no, the no. feeling that something, something had slipped wrong, away? I was not sure exactly what I did wrong. Yeah, this was right? the issue. Right? I had the feeling I did something wrong because before, I mean, you can just, just take, yeah? And I think in this position, this was only our white can be worse, actually. Like this of was course, our main I have line. the pawns pushing, yeah. but yeah, this bishop is so strong. And okay, also the queen is very active. I w but I felt like I shouldn't be too much just because I have like this sort of setup of I don't know something like rook e3, queen e3, rook f2, h3, king h2, and also pawns are rolling, so it's not. Uh, You've got your too counter. Bad. Yeah, but I think for him it was just he got carried away by the beauty of <laughs> sacrifice. Yeah. No, well, because it looks incredibly dangerous. But I'm well, at first uh, to be. Uh, quite honest with you, after the move b5, we did not see rook e6. Like, where, and then move else? Was, that's the whole point. We were forced <laughs> to find rook e6 yeah, because I mean, there was no other choice. Once we found rook e6, we began, oh my, there, 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 there's a lot of dangers yeah, yeah. for you. But yeah, probably I can give this check just now. What uh, Levon yeah. was saying to us on his way out the door, we couldn't push him yeah. out the door fast enough. <laughs> and bishop b8, there were, uh, now I have knight e4 again. Yeah, rook h6, I can take and take. So yeah, right. probably here. Um, you, ha you have I a mean, draw if you either want. Yeah, I th for some reason I did believe that queen d8 was a draw, but I could have done a draw. Yeah, that's yeah. But just... You know, I was very low on time already, too low, basically. Right. Yeah, because also, for me, playing without increment is like some kind of new thing. And right. I think by here, I was down to, I don't know, 13, 14 minutes and having 50 moves to play. Exactly. And the position is everything else than easy. And you were feeling the stress of the time, right? Yes, but... Now you understood uh, what we, what, what <laughs> we yeah, suffered yeah, back I, in no, my no. day. Yes, go on. But I right. think the thing is that, like, after bishop b6, b5, rook e6, of course, I took some time to understand because I don't have to play b5. Mm -hmm. Rook e6, then I took some time to understand what is going on here. Because, okay, right. of course, uh, maybe we can start with the more obvious. or less yep. obvious stuff. Yeah, that, okay, here, this is... And, okay, I can't prevent mate, yeah? Yep. Like a queen, but doesn't help. So that's, like, the easy thing. And then knight e4 was coming. I was just starting to calculate. Yeah, and that's okay. Rook h6, queen d8. Okay, looks quite good. Rook g2, king g2, I have this h3 in the end. Mm -hmm. and then, okay, then rook h5, I have h3. h3. Yeah. Queen g4, I have check and take with the queen. Yeah. So, actually, like... What's his move? Yeah, I mean, okay, taking this is so sad because then for him, it's you know, he based everything on dynamics and basically he could have taken on before and be had the normal position. And here it's right. clear he's just pawned down and has to defend the worst position. Maybe it's clear. Not too Nothing. bad because still, yeah, bishop on b6 is very strong, but it's a bad position. Not what he wanted. And uh, I fully regret that he didn't want to play this. And also now, then, like, my time doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, right. like, it's a solid position. I mean, I, as long as I don't blunder some rook e g6, rook g2, I won't be in too much danger. For example, I thought either he goes rook g4, but then it's only for draw. Right. And here I can just go h4, yeah? To oh, force even. Him, yeah, just to force him to not go anywhere. Because I was calculating this because I just thought that this is the only way. But I think, yeah, I mean, rook g2 looks incredibly dangerous. Like, that this is not losing is was kind of some kind of miracle to me. <laughs> I mean, it's really like, yeah, all his pieces are great. It's just that, uh, yeah, there's not enough pieces left.
Right. But I d- d- don't he know runs what out he missed exactly. Firewood. Probably he missed E6. Because I don't think otherwise it might be just bad for me. But I'm also not sure. Yeah, after Queen G3, what would have been the. I thought that was also a possibility. Yeah, probably possible it was much defense. easier than what I did. Yeah, Queen G3 was. But then I don't really know what he missed. Uh, probably he missed H3, but it's also. Hard to I mean, it was just. Any, first, I thought I can go Rook G1, yeah? Yes. But I'm not sure. Probably it's not good because <laughs> I didn't see a check. This is where I start to get scared. Like, really yeah, scared yeah. that something could des- definitely yeah, yeah, but go wrong. Yeah, now that I see it, I have no idea why I didn't play Queen G3. Right. I mean, but okay, I just saw this six percent was also happy, and right. I mean, okay, seeing this, you know, if you're down to twelve minutes and you see it, if he takes on h three, if that's the best move, then I will go here because you're yeah, as we saw in the game, I mean, he can play on a bit, but I mean, I mean, okay, if I make the time control, I will win somehow, yeah, like Precisely. at least, okay, if the two bishops are coming in and I lose some material or he gets incredibly active, but only three pawns and pawns that are on the seventh rank are not scaring me that much. I also think that probably then here I could have made something better, yeah, and just winning immediately somewhere but okay here i could have spent some time but it's just like i don't know all this bishop c4 checks and everything is coming and <laughs> i was seeing no reason yeah as soon as i saw that i have this bishop d4 in the end i was sure that yeah of course it's not like i will win in the next five moves but okay he can't push the pawns because then there will be too many weaknesses and with pawns on seventh rank and something at some point i will win something yeah? else so exactly. rook always has to stay on the fifth rank because otherwise knight g5 will come and then right the thing so i just think that yeah i will have to check what i did wrong in the Whether opening you could have won it even probably more. it was just not good to take on d5 but uh, that would be surprising to me but it's still possible right and then from his side i think just yeah just playing bishop b6 is not a good idea wonderful i want to say that in uh, talking with you and you're you're showing the game uh you have your spirit you're fighting and uh, e- each round uh, we're seeing these great fights. I thought that you've been playing well. The result just didn't ch- was not coming in your favor, but I thought that you were playing some really excellent games. And this game is sure to encourage you, Vincent. It's been wonderful watching and commentating your games. And thank you for coming thank and sharing. Me. It was very, very, very nice. And there you have it, everyone. Uh, we have completed our round five of WR Chess. Please join us again tomorrow as we will resume with round six and uh vincent who do you play tomorrow <laughs> good question <laughs> you're uh, gonna go to your room and find out aren't yeah you? yeah no i know that i will have giri and nepo with white so i will have duda and so with black so either duda or so uh now you i sh- would have to know the numbers yeah exactly i don't, I don't know very I've, very I've, good in my mind i think it's duda first but yeah, i'm not sure i will check let's go prepare uh good night everyone we'll see you tomorrow